Preparing buffer solutions. A buffer solution can be prepared by mixing a weak acid and its salt, which contains the conjugate base ion of the weak acid, or a weak base and its salt, which contains the conjugate acid ion of the weak base. The primary purpose of the buffer is to control the pH of the solution. pH range for buffers. The pH range is the range of pH values over which a buffer solution works effectively. It is best to choose an acid with a pKa close to the desired pH. After studying titration graphs, which is in the next unit, you will see why buffers work best when the pKa is close to the desired pH, qualitatively and quantitatively. Important considerations. One, target pH. The pH of the buffer is closely related to the pKa of the acid as found from the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. This narrows the possible choices of acids to those with pKa values within one pH unit of the target pH. The log factor can be adjusted easily. Second, concentration or buffer capacity. A properly chosen buffer will have a 50-50 acid to base ratio at the target pH. This brings the ratio in the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation close to unity and its log to zero. When the concentrations of acid and conjugate base are equal, so when this ratio is approximately one, then the log of that one is approximately zero, and the pH of the resulting solution will be equal to the pKa of the acid according to this equation. The ratio of the concentrations of acid and conjugate base can differ by a factor of 10 in either direction, and the resulting pH will only change by one unit. This is how a buffer maintains pH stability in the solution. Example seven, preparing a buffer. Calculate the mass of sodium acetate that must be added to 500 milliliters of 0.02 molar acetic acid to form a pH equal to five buffer solution. The Ka of the acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. All right. First, I have the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, where pH equals pKa plus log of the base over the acid. pKa is the negative log of the Ka, or 4.74. Because the buffer components, acetate, which is the base, and acetic acid, which is the acid, are both in the same volume of solution, their concentration ratio is equal to their mole ratio. So the ratio of the concentration of base over acid is also the ratio of the moles of base over moles of acid. And the moles of acid can be calculated from what we're given. It's a 500 milliliter or 0.5 liter solution times 0 0.02 molar or moles per liter means 0 0.100 moles of acetic acid. All right, so back to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. We know we need a solution that's a pH of five. And we know that the moles of the acid are 0.1 molar. We calculated that in the previous slide. So now we can solve five minus 4.74 is 0.26. And to get rid of this log, we raise both sides 10 to the power of so 10 to the 0.26 power is 1.8, which gives us the ratio of the moles of the acetate to the moles of the acetic acid. Moles of acetate is 0.18. And then we can just do a molar mass calculation to find the mass of the sodium acetate. So 0.1 moles of acetate times 82.03 grams per mole of sodium acetate is 15 grams. Example eight, preparing a buffer. A student is asked to prepare a buffer of pH nine. One molar HCN with a Ka of 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10 and one molar NaCN are provided. Justify qualitatively the best ratio of the acid-base pair in preparing this buffer. All right, so using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, 
First, the pKa is the minus log of the Ka, or 9.21. The target pH here is 9. So the second term on the right must be about minus 0.21. This term right here should be about minus 0.21. Since that's a negative number, we have to think in terms of logs here, but since this is a negative number, the ratio of A minus to HA must be less than one. And what that means is the HA must be greater so that we get a value less than one when we divide the two. Since the pH is less than the pKa, the concentration of the acid component must be greater than the concentration of the base component. As the pH value decreases, the solution becomes more acidic, and the concentration of acid must be higher than the base. Example 9, buffer pH calculations. What is the pH of a buffer that has 0.12 molar lactic acid and 0.1 molar sodium lactate? The Ka for lactic acid is 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4. All right, method one for solving this is our original approach. Using the Ka expression for the weak acid, we have the lactate times the hydronium ion concentration over the lactic acid is equal to the Ka, and we need the hydronium ion concentration to solve for the pH. Keeping in mind initially we have some acid and some base, and keeping in mind that this change is relatively small, we can solve for x using the Ka, the concentration of the acid, and the concentration of the base. And in doing so, we get a pH of 3.77. We saw this a lot in the two sections at the beginning of this unit. So if you need to go back and review this chart or these calculations, you can go back and do that. But the second method is the method we've been using in this buffers section and that is to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, where pH equals pKa, or the minus log of the Ka, plus the log of the base, which in this case is the lactate, uh, 0.1 molar, over the acid, which is the lactic acid, 0.2 molar, 0.12 molar, excuse me. And in doing that, just a calculation here, we get the same pH, 3.77. Example 10, preparing a buffer. From the list below, choose the best acid-salt pair to make a buffer with a pH of four. So we have several acid-salt pairs with their Ka values. Let's use those to choose the best pair to make a buffer of pH four. If the ratio of conjugate base to acid is equal to one, then we know that the pH is equal to the pKa. The acid with the pKa closest to four will be the best choice. Convert the pKa of four to a Ka, so 10 to the minus pKa, or 10 to the minus four, 10 to the minus pH gives us the hydronium ion concentration, or the Ka, closest to one times 10 to the minus four. We want to find the one that's closest to 1 times 10 to the minus 4. The acid salt pair that would be the best choice from the list given then is HC3H5O3 and NaC3H5O3, since the Ka is closest to the one calculated.